This is Mario with MIA Microflight, and in this video, I am going to uh, just go over some of these uh, parts that I have been uh, purchasing and making um, in order to create a, uh, a track that hopefully my grandkids uh, will enjoy when they come by. Uh, not only them, you know, but also as a, as a family uh, type thing, we can all enjoy. I certainly enjoy these things. Uh, very therapeutic in a sense just watching these uh, little uh, locomotives and uh, cars uh, you know just go around in circles and so you can see how I've been playing around with the track here uh, let me first uh, start by saying that uh, I started with this track right here this uh, set from play 22 very nice set uh, but I actually ended up buying an extension here of track from this other company uh, tiny conductors and so while these things are not ex exactly the same quality the at least the interlocking pieces are such that they interlock very easy and so you can see how they have a very generous gap where you can just align these and uh, you know adjust them and, and interlock many of these uh, uh, wooden track sets from various uh, manufacturers and so I, I think they're, they're all compatible everybody's got the same uh, format and uh, they have it standardized on at least the uh, dimensions and the, the, the way these tracks are, are done um, most of these tracks are uh, machined from the top as well as the bottom so you can invert this and have a, a right and left uh, um, turn uh, same thing with the verticals uh, or the straights, um, the cross uh, sections I think are mm, kind of similar because you can see some of these are not and it just depends on the manufacturer I guess but I ended up buying the wood you know just to get me started here and just, just to, so that I can have something to quickly lay out as you see it on this table here. This is a, I believe this table is a 6x3 six by, six by or something like that so it's a uh, you know, it's quite a quite a bit of track here uh, and so I also ended up buying all these little cars you know just to give me a sense of uh, aesthetics you know how this would look with the uh, with the little cars you know I have a, a little bus of people there um, and I will let my grandkids play with that when they come here they can set them whichever way but the idea is to uh, have a track where I can run any any type of uh, a locomotive. Uh, some of these are just your basic uh, on and off type switch when you switch it on and off and they uh, they go around the track and some of these work a little bit better than others those are they run on three uh, no on two AAA batteries And you know they have the the, the sound that's uh, these start up with the sound and then they the sound uh, stops after a, a little while after it gets going. However, this one right here is remote control and this one runs a double A uh, size batteries, two of them, um, and um, as well as the uh, remote. I think it takes two cells, two double A cells. But this one is a lot more beefier and uh, it's got continuous sound and it's got some nice features to it so let me show you how this uh, works here start up it's got the uh, lights turned on and that chugging sound is continuous which i really like uh, but you're not going to find that sound in the these guys here because these are these you can buy for about 18 dollars and this is uh i believe uh, around the same price i think so it just depends on the company that you're buying this from you know, if you're getting into something like this with your grandkids or your kids, you know, just make sure that you do a little, a little more uh, research uh, to see which one fits your your needs and your particular taste. I really like this uh, uh, locomotive here. Like I said, so you can turn on the lights. I'm going to turn it off via the remote here. So you can turn off the. I just turn off the lights here, and you can also trigger the. The horn there, you can also stop it, reverse it, or just simply stop it. When you put it on reverse, you can go reverse, and if you let it go, it stops. So it's a very nice uh, unit here, and they do come with a, 
Uh, this one came with an extra um, little car here, and it's got the you know the little people there, the little doll. This is from another another set that I bought. You know, as you can see, I, I have bought a, a, a few sets, and uh, I have a couple more coming. I'm just waiting for them because I do plan on making this a two-level uh, setup here. Now, as I was saying earlier in the video, I did start with these wooden blocks, and that was the the, the idea to start. But after uh, finding out that these things are, you know, they have so much gap here and they're not really precise. Sometimes, you know, you, you have this particular one tends to get stuck under really tight curves as the uh, these other ones don't. And I think it has to do also with the type of uh, wheels it has, you know, the dimensions, how, how precise those wheels. I, I found that the, the wheels that are a little bit more loose uh, work better with a, with a track such as uh, these right here that have uh, these... Uh, 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 this very very loose fit because the track can you know you if you have the track like that if the wheel is not able to give itself uh, in, in the track you know just uh, have a little more play it's going to get stuck here and it's not going to go anywhere or it's going to derail and so that's uh, just the nature of these uh, particular tracks so considering that I started printing uh, my own tracks and design, well, actually I actually designed my own track which I'm going to show you here. These are 3D printed uh, tracks that I printed from uh, uh, from Thingiverse. These are very very nice tracks. If you if you get the files from, from this particular um, uh, uh, person that designed this, you're you're going to really like these tracks. The only thing is th that I did not find these connectors, so I ended up designing my own connector here to use these tracks because I printed these, but they, they didn't have these, or maybe I missed it. Um, unfortunately, they didn't include. I don't think they, he included or she, whoever designed this, in the um, collection of these uh, tracks here. So I uh, printed, uh, you know, the the straight um, a bridge, a couple curves, uh, the other section of the bridge, and I in a straight. Um, and I'm printing more than I had this. So the person who designed this has pretty much the whole thing that you can go nuts and just print, uh, you know, your own track using this particular track. But I found that. Um, it takes a, a, a long, long time to print something like this because it's more, you know, more material, more solid. And so I decided to design my own track in this way. You know, my track is slotted right here. And in order to uh, uh, maximize the utility of the track, I ended up slotting as well the sides here. So it's not a, it's not a, a solid, it's not a solid uh, a piece like you see these right here, but mine is slotted on the sides. And like I said, to maximize the utility, meaning with uh, with these side um, uh, slots, I can also add uh, uh, bridges. You know, I have a bridge that I designed that, that, that clamps out to the sides here. And uh, but the most important feature here on my particular track is this slot right here, and, and deeper deeper tracks for the wheels. You know, so that the wheel on these little cars engages a little bit better and does not um, have the tendency to fall off the track. You can still have uh, the little car with little clearance, and I can. I think this is um, yeah. The, the, this is the first iteration that, that the other ones are a little bit deeper. So this one doesn't have the deeper uh, pockets here for the, for the wheels, but the uh, next ones have a little bit deeper pocket. And this is a little bit closer to the, to the uh, surface of the track, but still clears the, the, uh, the track nicely. Uh, the good thing is that all these little trucks are designed the same way. So uh, this is uh, where I'm at, and I thought I'd just give you a little glimpse of what I've been working on.